In this lecture, we're going to understand what is React and why we should use React as a front end. So, what is React? React is a powerful open source framework for developing client side applications. React is developed by Facebook and used many large established companies and newly minted startups like Netflix, Instagram, New York Times, and many more. React is a component based architecture. Components are independent and reusable bit of code, just like a JavaScript function. We'll talk about what is component later. Using React, we build a website interface. But why should we use React as a front end? In React, we create reusable components. Components are the building block of any React application. And a single app usually consists of multiple components. So reusing components saves you a lot of time. Reacts also have important feature called undirectional data flow. React follow the undirectional data flow this means when designing a React app, developer often nest child component within parent component. Then we also have a useful feature of React which is small learning curve. React is easy to learn as it mostly combines basic HTML and JavaScript concepts with some beneficial additions. So it's super easy to learn. And the last, React uses Virtual DOM, thereby React improves the application performance. If you want to learn more about Virtual DOM, I have a depth course on React. You can check out that course from the link provided in the description. In our theory, let's start creating a new React project. So just jump into the Visual Studio Code editor and open a terminal inside it. As you know, using node-version, we check node is successfully installed or not. When you install node in your system, npm is automatically installed. npm stands for node package manager. Let me first check the npm is, is installed or not. Here I'm going to say npm-version. When I press enter, I have npm version 6.14.1. When you work with JavaScript project, you use npm to install other people's code packages into your own project. So by installing other people's packages, you save you a lot of time and effort by using their code. So once you understand npm is successfully installed in your local system, let me just check npx is installed or not. Here I'm going to say npx hyphen hyphen version. When I press enter, I'm going to get the version of npx as well. NPX stands for Node Package Execute and it is comes with NPM and NPM comes with Node. Don't confuse with this statement. NPM comes with Node, NPX comes with NPM. We use NPX to execute a package that is not installed. Let me just show you how to create a React application. So let me clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L and here I'm going to start and create my new React project. So I'm going to say here NPX and say create react app. This command is going to allow us to create or you can say clone react app. So here I'm going to say create react app and then I'm going to specify the name of the project. I'm going to specify name for this project login system. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this project. That doesn't matter. But make sure the project name is in the lowercase and have no space between it. As you can notice here, I'm using underscore to add space between two words. Now, once I specify that, let me press enter to create this login system react application. When I press enter, this will create this app in the Mern series directory. This will take few minutes to create react application. Now, once you get the successful message, here you can notice we have some commands here to start the react application. React suggests to begin with by typing this command. Enter into your login system and start the React application. Here we have different commands to start the React application. Using npm start, we start the development server. npm run build is going to build an app into static files for production. And then we have npm test. This command is used for testing. You don't have to worry about this command. We just need this npm start command because we are starting the development server of React. So I'm going to just clear the screen and here I'm going to say cd change directory login system and when I enter into my login system I'm gonna say here npm node package manager start when I execute this command this will start react application development server so as you can see we have the react development server this command will start the development server and you will get the compile successful message on the terminal so whenever you make any changes in your react application this command will automatically recompile your application and you will get the result in your browser you don't have to refresh or reload your browser whenever you make changes in your react application so i'm going to leave this as it is just close this terminal and open the login system and here we have the project structure of react 
So let me first talk about the project structure of React. Here we have node modules folder. In this folder, we have a package in which our project depends on and these projects have their own packages. You don't have to touch this folder because you're not going to do anything inside it. This is just for dependencies. Just understand all your npm packages in store in this node modules folder. Just start that we have public folder. In this folder we have the main index.html file. We can tweak this file if you want. We're going to do that later and here you can add your assets of your project and we can also add here some custom JavaScript files or we can add a custom script files as well. Just out of that we have here source folder. The source is a very important folder in the React project. This is where we add our components. If you put any code out of this folder, React won't see them. So this is where we create all the components and all the code of this project. In this folder we have app.js. This is the default component we get with React. Let me leave this component as it is. Then to start this component, we have app.css. And to test this component, we have app.test.js file. Just after that, we have index.css, which is used to style this index.js file, which is the entry point of this application. Then we have logo.svg. Then we have the report web vital JS and setup test. These files are used for testing. You don't have to worry about these files. So let me close this index. Just for this source folder, we have .gitignore. This file is used to ignore files being included in the git repo. React automatically initialized with git repository. Git is a version control system. We're not going to look at how this works. Git tracks the changes you make to the file. So you have the record what has been done. This is why the React use Git in their project. Then we have package.json file. This file is used to initialize your project as npm package. This file holds various metadata relevant to the project. This file is used to give information to npm that allows it to identify the project as well as handle the project dependencies. You can notice here name attribute identify the project. This is the version. And then we have the dependencies and we have the scripts as you know using start command we start this react application so we have some metadata of the project inside this file just out of that we have package.log file this file is an auto generated file with npm in this file we have a dependency tree you don't have to touch this file so i'm going to leave it as it is and just out of that we have readme.md file for git this file is used to display some information of your git repository this is a simple structure of this React application. Next, we're going to make some changes in the default app component. 